Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. This, if you have no idea what Game Maker is, um, please refer to my Catch the Clown tutorial where I go over all the basics of Game Maker. So, uh, today, I'm going to make another platformer tutorial. Uh, this was a request from Mr. Mega Giga Terra, which I realized earlier was the hierarchy of binary code. So, he asked me to add double jump and friction. So I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to add power jump because that's somewhere along the same lines. So without any further ado, let's get started. Open up the original platformer tutorial. Go into your object player. Create a creation event. And let's create a variable. We'll call this variable jump, and it will set it equal to 1. This variable is how many jumps you can take in the air. So this would be a double, double jump. One on the, from the ground and one in the air. So go to your sub event. First, we're gonna split this up a little bit to keep it more organized because we're gonna be adding a, a quite a bit more code throughout this video. So the first thing called movement, and the second one right before the last line, we're gonna call that physics. Now, in order to do the double jump, first we got to edit this line of code. So change the function from keyboard check to keyboard check pressed. Take away this because if we s kept that then we won't be able to jump in the air anymore. And change it to jump is more than zero. And also every time we jump we want to make sure jump goes one down so type down jump minus equals one. Also the gravity I think 0.25 is just a, a little bit irritating how slow it is so I'm just going to increase that a little bit. Whenever it hits the ground we want the double jump to reset. So type down if place meeting x y plus 1 obj s solid jump equals 1. Alright. Now test it out. The double jump should work now. Everything that used to work is still working. If I tap up, it still works. And if I tap up twice, I can double jump. Perfect. Now we're going to add the power jump. So let's add a line of code. Type down the f function if keyboard check pressed up. If keyboard check, sorry, not pressed, VK up. So if you're in the middle of the air, then it, it'll be checking whether this is pressed. So if that's pr pressed, we want to, you, you'd go up a little faster. Type down V speed minus equals 0.3. This number is very important. If you make this too high, he'll he'll fly up in the air and you won't have and the gravity won't have an effect on him anymore, or at least not enough. And if you make it too low, you won't even notice that's a power jump. So the important thing is to make sure that it's less than your gravity value. Because gravity, I could change this to V speed plus, because that's really all gravity is. Or at least if you have gravity ejection going downwards, which is in this case and in most cases. But it's still the same concept if you have it going in different directions. And you can change that here. So we'll see if that that um, works the same way here. I recommend having at least 0.3 between this nu this number and the gravity. Because if you have this one 0.1 or 0.2 less, then he won't fly straight up in the air, but he'll kind of stand still, f or almost stand stand still in the air for several seconds, like sort of fighting the power of gravity. So let's make this 0.6 to increase the gap. Now let's see if our power jump works. If I tap it, he jumps normal. If I hold it in, he jumps higher. See the difference? Perfect. Now the last thing we're going to add is friction. So again, go into your step event. I looked up the definition of friction uh, from dictionary.com and it said a force on objects in contact with each other that resists motion of the objects relative to each other. Basically what that's saying is that if two objects collide with each other then the one that's moving slows down. Or if one of those moving slows it slows down. So we're going to need to change these to an actual speed that can be declined off of. So h speed equals 8. Make sure it's equals 8 and not plus equals 8 because I've made that mistake now two or three times 
and it's really irritating editing it all out. So in this one, h speed equals negative eight, and here gotta change it to eight as well. Otherwise, you have some problems with collisions. Now let's add the friction. Friction is pretty simple; it's just a variable, and unlike gravity, you won't need to check things. So type down friction equals point three. Now this variable does have carry some weight. If you had made this point one, it would he would act like it was um it was a very slippery floor made of ice or something like that. And but then again, if you made it like point five, it would be just like it was earlier because you'd stop almost immediately. So now let's test it out. Okay, so now it's working. He's moving around and slowing down. The only thing that's wrong is is that I programmed the keys wrong. And when I hit right, he goes left. And when I hit left, he goes right. So let's fix that quickly. This needs to be positive 8, and this needs to be negative 8. If you noticed that earlier, congratulations on your part. Now let's see if it works better this time. Now there's one thing I want to highlight is that the collision with the wall isn't perfect anymore. See, he stops. Especially when I come off come off a jump. Okay. So I'll show you how to fix that. First, let me change around the room a little bit. Make these walls along the side a little higher so that I can test this out easier. Now go into ob go into the collision at the object solid and add a line of code. This line of code is basically um, saying what 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 should happen if you hit it going downwards. But now we're going to add some if you hit it go when you go going to the left or going to the right. So type down if place meeting x plus h speed y obj solid and h speed is more than zero so this is basically saying that if you collide with the wall going on a horizontal axis and you're moving to the what is that right if you're moving to the right then if all that is true move contact zero just like this one, only instead of 270, which is downwards motion, I'm using 0, which is to the right. Then type down h speed equals 0. Now let's copy this, because the going to the left is almost the same. This needs to be less than 0. This needs to be 180, because direction change, and that's it. Now, now I'm going to go seven, seven up quickly. I'm not going to make any changes to what you would see when, while playing it, but you saw I changed gravity, so I think it's normal that I show you how the friction works as well. So, for the friction, let's take it out this whole line, type down if h speed is more than zero, so if you're going to the right, and place meeting x, y plus one, obj solid. So if you're going to the right and you're cl and you're colliding with a solid under you, or this solid under you, then h speed minus equals 0.3. If you remember, 0.3 was the number we had for the friction earlier. So let's copy this again. It's almost the same for going the left. Change this around for going left, and put this down as plus 0.3. Okay, now let's test it out. So now the wall collision should work go should go a lot smoother and the friction should still work just like it did even though I changed the code around. Friction still works pretty well even though I changed the code around. And if I jump against the wall, see perfect. And the other wall works as well. Double jump works. Power jump. Fine and dandy. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me on my YouTube channel, Sinforge Games, 
or you can email me at the email that's on my channel because that's prone to change. Yeah, again, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Here are the credits.